First, we'll have a look at four types of eyes drawn in Kerala mural painting. In mural painting, the eyes are drawn as half closed. This is to impart a divine touch to the deities. Hence, the pupil is drawn accordingly. The first eye design is called Ulpalapatram and it is used for the Nirvikara Rubam, which uh, translates into neutral expression, deities with a neutral expression. It resembles the shape of a water lily petal. The next eye design is called Malsyodharam and it is used for deities with Shringaram expression, which uh, translates into romantic expression. This design is more often used for the feminine deities. The next eye design is called Padma Patram. It resembles the shape of a lotus petal. The last uh, design is called Chapakrati and it is used for deities that are in the Dhyanavastha Rupam, uh, which means for the deities that are in the meditative expression. This is again half opened and bow shaped. The fourth type of design is different from the rest of the three and it is called Chapakrati. The first design is Ulpalapatram, which is used for the neutral expression deities and it uh, resembles the shape of a water lily petal. The second design is called Malsyodharam. It is used for Shringaram expression, that is romantic expression and uh, it is mo most often used for the feminine deities. The third design is called Padma Patram and it resembles the shape of a lotus petal. The last design is called Chapakrati. It is used for meditating figures, the Dhyanavastha Rupam. It is half open and bow shaped. I have shown three types of nose drawings here. The first type we see here is the commonly used one. It is used for faces with the Shantam Bhavam which translates as peaceful calm expression. The second one we have here is the Raudram Bhavam. Raudram which means anger and the difference is that from the first one in comparison to the first one the nostrils will be wider open in this design. So in comparison to the first one the, for the second one, for the anger expression, we'll be drawing the nostrils wider. The third type of nose we have shown here is for the side angle. Uh, when you see a Kerala mural painting, there are going to be uh, deities that you see from the side angle. So this nose is used for the side angle. Let's have a look at a basic design of ears drawn in Kerala mural painting. To understand the full beauty of the ear design, we should draw the accompanying motif used in Kerala mural painting, which is called Chevipu. Here, uh, now I'm not drawing the Chevipu because that itself has been explained separately in another video. So shown here are the beginner's freehand style, the easy to understand basic designs of ears. This is again another way in which we can draw the ears and to understand the full beauty of the ears it should also be seen with the ornaments and when you see it along with the whole uh, picture of the deity you will understand it better. As you can see here in Kerala mural painting the anatomy is very different from the actual human anatomy. As said earlier, different from the human anatomy, the lips length and width vary in Kerala mural painting. The actual measurements and details for each of these has a lot to dwell into and there is an extensive amount of calculations and details for each in Kerala mural painting that is covered in an advanced level and this explanation is done for the very basic level of understanding for a beginner. Each element you've seen here together imparts the divine beauty to the deity and I've just shown a basic glimpse for a beginner to start off trying 
with uh, freehand drawing and once you're comfortable with that you can dwell into the details learn the calculations formulas and measurements and go ahead with the advanced level